Continuing, and as with the last segment that you just watched, this video is going to get a lot more serious now. And before we get into that, though, how it's going to get serious and what's going to exactly happen here, how savage it's going to get, I want to remind any YouTube employees or contractors watching this video right now that the individual I'm discussing is evading several channel terminations on YouTube, which of course is grounds for having a channel instantly terminated once again. As evidence of that, you can actually check out this clip right here where he admits to it recently on YouTube. And, yeah. and and guys, and this is funny, when 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 I lost my first of two YouTube channels, yeah. guys were telling me, go to BitChute, go to go to here, go to there. So that's Donovan Sharp for any YouTube employees watching this right now. Here's his current channel. He has all these subscribers, all these views, and the channels that he lost are found in the description of this video, including here, where he was uh, banned for prohibiting or violating, severely violating hate speech. And on this channel, for severely violating uh, policies against spam, deception, practices, misleading content, etc. So if you're working for YouTube and watching this video, I encourage you to check that out. Have a good time. Be an easy ban. Notch on your belt. Congratulations. Now, back to the task at hand of exposing the truth about Donovan Sharp. First and foremost, I mentioned defamation, and I'm welcoming Donovan Sharp to sue me for the allegations and the expo what's being exposed in this video. I encourage him to do that. If anything I'm saying is false. I know for a fact that everything I'm saying is basically true. I have direct evidence of that. I've heard it from Donovan's own mouth, or I know it to be true as a matter of physical fact in real life. And we're going to look into that here as well. But for those of you who are not familiar with defamation law and what defamation is, I'm going to read off some very basic things to you from a law firm. You can look up this concept yourself in legal uh, philosophy. It's not that complicated, defamation lawsuits. So defamation, first and foremost, let's read it here. Defamation of character occurs when a person makes a published false and harmful statement about someone. Defamation takes two forms, slander, oral defamation, and libel, written defamation. There are a number of important defenses in a defamation lawsuit that could either eliminate the plaintiff's claim entirely or weaken it significantly. What is that? Absolute defenses. First and foremost, truth is an absolute defense to a defamation lawsuit. If the statement that is the subject of the suit is true and you can prove it, your attorney can move to have the plaintiff's claim dismissed. No one is punished for speaking the truth, even if it is an ugly truth, an ugly truth. So it is what it is. Donovan, you're welcome to sue me. I encourage you to do that. We can really get this into a battle in court. You are lying through your fucking teeth about numerous issues that we're investigating here in this video. I stand by your word coming out of my mouth, and I understand how serious it is what we're going through here and the, the allegations that I'm making and the claims and the insults even. So continuing on, we're going to be looking at Devon Sharp, who we've seen a little bit throughout this video so far. Uh, you guys might know her from this trailer that's coming out now on Donovan's channel, Devon Sharp, formerly known as Sharp Assist, uh, which has annoyed some fans, but she was Sharp Assist, and then after they got married, she instantly became Devon Sharp. She's also here on his public Instagram and was previously on his public Twitter account before it got suspended by the Black Pill channels that we were looking at earlier. He also posts about her constantly on his YouTube channel. I am specifically making the claim that not only is Donovan a public figure, as we've discussed throughout this video, uh, it's a limited uh, public figure. Here we go. We discussed this earlier in the video. Donovan has a, oh, I'm going to pull this up for you guys. Donovan is a public figure. And, uh, you know, he has over 100,000 followers. He has a basically an audience bigger than most newspapers. By every definition imaginable, he is a public figure himself, right? What his wife is, is something a little bit different. It's called a limited purpose public figure. You can read it about what that is and look that up. It's basically another variation of a public figure. My ex-wife was one as well because she was on the uh, on the channel all the time, accumulating hundreds of thousands of interviews or views on the interviews that she did with the speakers that we filmed at our 21 convention events. And that makes her a public figure. Half a million people knew exactly who she was by her face, identity, voice, all these things, right? Donovan Sharp's wife, Devon Sharp, as she's called, so Edwin Hopkins being the husband and then Devon Sharp being the wife, is also a public figure. This video, I think, demonstrates that very, very clearly. That's a problem for Donovan, and we're going to see why that is. He's also been posting these kind of lewd pictures of her ass and her face for a long time uh, on his channel. Uh, not only his channel, but his Twitter accounts, Instagram accounts, all these things. This is his Twitter account before it got suspended. Here's his YouTube community post. He's constantly, constantly talking about her on video. She even joins him for various interviews and actually you know, brings her personality and her ideas to the stage. Uh, here's an interview, for example, that Donovan hosted. Uh, of her and there's even more beyond that you can go find on their channel on youtube there's hundreds of videos where she's either talked about or directly is involved in the content with her voice and ideas and whatnot and of course as a moderator as we've seen she has her own video trailer here 
congratulations, Devon. You've made it to, uh, to the big leagues, including with your ass all over Instagram and Twitter and YouTube and stuff. Congratulations. So I'm making the claim here specifically that not only is Donovan Sharp a public figure, but so is his wife, Devon Sharp, as she's known. So Evan Hopkins is a public figure. Donovan Sharp is the cartoon character he's created, kind of like Batman. It's all fake, by the way. And Devon Sharp, we're going to look into now as well, what the truth behind that is. Before we do, I want to make it known right out of Donovan's mouth what her involvement is in the business. Is it a little bit? Is it a lot? What does she do exactly? Well, Donovan tells us. Enjoy. These are guys who create channels to expose men like us because they know that if they directed their anger towards women, which is where their anger really lies, they'd be deplatformed, canceled, all the rest of that. But the men who make it out of the anger phase and begin to really understand women for who and what they are and continue to cultivate that knowledge will eventually come to the realization that even though most women are really only good for bedroom fun, that there are a lot of women out there who can be of service to us outside of the bedroom. Gerald obviously realized this a long time ago and utilizes women to his own advantage and quite effectively, I might add. What men in this community need to understand is that women do have their uses outside of the bedroom. A lot of guys want to be meathead red pill guy and be like, I only use women for sex and I discard them immediately. I kick her out. Not understanding and recognizing certain qualities and traits in women that could benefit them financially, socially, or otherwise could make a tangible difference in their lives. They don't realize that. This is one of the reasons that I am currently in a cohabitating relationship with a woman almost a decade past the wall. She can code, she is an SEO expert, and she has handled millions of dollars in ad spend for a company that she eventually left to come work for me. So there's a lot to unpack there. Uh, you know, we're not even going to get into it in this segment, but just the total lack of self-awareness, his hatred of women talking about them like fucking literal robots. Uh, we got the, the real true love angle there at the end, right? He married this woman that he's talking about here in the video. And he apparently he married her because she can code and do SEO and has handled all these sales and AdSense and stuff. That's just kind of fucked up in its own right. We're not even going to get into that here. What's important is what he mentioned at the end, right? What she does for him, that cohabitating relationship he's talking about, Devon Sharp, that we're talking about here. And I'm specifically claiming now that she is a limited purpose public figure, and there's every reason to believe that. So what does she do for the business, though? Because she's not even just a, a public figure, a limited purpose public figure. She's heavily involved in the business. She's his SEO manager. She codes his website. He's bragged about that in public there and privately for years, making all these pages and stuff on the website constantly. She's a sales manager and an affiliate manager. She's basically his business manager. So this is kind of a problem that's been increasing for him over the years. And just so you guys are aware, I believe fully that Donovan is, has a one-itis relationship with this woman. One-itis is a classic manosphere term, one-itis. And really what it represents in wider culture is a toxic, unhealthy, codependent relationship that he has with this woman. He pedestalizes her. Now, this is very different from how he portrays it in public. It's the opposite, in fact. But he doesn't have, he does, in fact, have a very severe case of one-itis. And that's why, in part, this woman has been getting more and more involved with his business over the years. She is, by de facto, de facto at this point, basically the business manager for Donovan Sharp, the brand. Donovan Sharp is not just a figure that represents Evan Hopkins. It is actually an entire YouTube channel and a business. Websites, Patreon, Instagram, all these brands and stuff, you know, Twitter accounts, social media, TikTok. It's a whole business. And frankly, she is the brains of the operation. Donovan is not that intelligent. Room temperature IQ at best. At best. It is what it is. He's just kind of dumb. She is the one pulling the strings. She is the brains of the operation. She is the one driving him to make all these lies and do all these things. I believe firmly at this point, 100%. So she is a public figure, 100%. She's a limited purpose public figure. She does all kinds of interviews. She does all kinds of moderation for the channel. As Donovan has publicly claimed, she does all kinds of sales management, SEO management, website management. In private, he's claimed she's the affiliate manager. She's heavily involved in that business. And that makes her, in my mind, a public figure. I think it's very obvious, and that's not even a controversial statement, given what we can physically see her doing in real life and on the internet and stuff. What that means is she's not off limits. She's a public figure, just like Donovan, but in a more specific way. Donovan is a wider public figure with even more views as the identity has been exposed even much more broadly. So let's look again at the uh, specific portion of that clip that you guys are going to want to pay very close attention to now. Very close attention, short, short version. This is one of the reasons that I am currently in a cohabitating relationship with a woman almost a decade past the wall. 
So the wall is something that Donovan talks about on his channel a lot. It's talked about in the Manosphere community a lot, all the time. The wall means a 30 wall. They say the wall is undefeated, all these little catchphrases, right? Women, they approach 30, they smash into the wall. Their looks fall apart. They hit advanced maternity age, for example, medically at 35 years old. There's then like another wall at 40 and all this other stuff. But the wall itself, the wall means 30, 30 years old. And what does he say? He's dating. This is recent too. This is a few weeks ago. What does he say here? This is one of the reasons that I am currently in a cohabitating relationship with a woman almost a decade past the wall. Almost a decade past the wall. Almost a decade past 30. So that means maybe at minimum 36, most likely 37, 38, 39, somewhere between 35 and 40, closing in, you know, almost a decade past the wall, right? Interesting that he mentions that. We can even look in public and people that discuss Donovan on Reddit, a major social media platform like Twitter or Facebook, they actually believe that he's dating a 36 plus year old woman somewhere around that age. This is a few months ago, eight months ago, looks like. Uh, there's another uh, version of that somewhere over here I got. Here it is. Another commenter on a similar thread on that this portion of Reddit that discusses Donovan Sharp explicitly. And they believe he's dating a woman who's about 36 years old. Now, this is months ago, so maybe she's 37 or 38 now. Maybe 39 at the oldest, right? Given what he's saying, almost a decade past the wall. Wrong. Very wrong. And Donovan's been lying about this egregiously for a long, long time. Something that he bitches about publicly that women do. They lie about their age, right? This is not even just a manosphere thing, although it's discussed pretty heavily in the manosphere. But women lie about their age. It's a thing. In the manosphere, we discuss it not only on Donovan's channel, but 21 Studios and hundreds of other channels that we've been looking at, for example, throughout the show. Coach Ray Adams, Coach Red Pill, Coach Corey Wayne, these things. These are issues that we discuss in a cultural, social, and self-improvement sense. We want to understand culture, understand women, understand ourselves, our relationship to women and all these things. Why do they do certain things? Donovan is claiming she's almost a decade past the wall. This is false. And it's been false for a long, long time. So, and she, he actually claims too that she's younger than him. Wrong, very wrong, Donovan. Big no-no. So D Devon Sharp's real name, a public figure, is Cynthia Ashlock. She goes by another name as well, last name, Cynthia, something else. Uh, she may have been married before, it looks like, and Donovan has not disclosed that. Uh, so I don't know exactly what's going on there. Someone else can investigate that. But Donovan claimed that his name is Edwin Hopkins, which is true and accurate, and Cynthia Ashlock is her real name. This is a text he sent me not too long ago. This is a picture of Cynthia Ashlock uh, many years ago, looks like about 10, 15 years ago, versus the woman here that we see, Cynthia Ashlock, a.k.a. Devon Sharp and Dev, uh, Donovan Sharp, or Donna, as I call him now. And how old do you guys think she is? He's claiming she's uh, 36, these things, right? All the stuff we see on his Instagram. He's been in damage control, just rampantly posting about this woman everywhere that he can lately after the MGTOW guys at MGTOW Dictionary Channel exposed to who he is exactly and what's going on there with his relationship. So he claims she is in her late 30s, and that is not the case. Cynthia Ashlock is 44 years old, almost 45 years old. So we have the public believing that she is in her late 30s, as Donovan discusses, again, right here. This is one of the reasons that I am currently in a cohabitating relationship with a woman almost a decade past the wall. Yeah, that's wrong, Donovan. This is your wife. This is her real name. This is the exact city that you two live in. I'm not showing the exact address, of course. So I'm uh, keeping that concealed. She has gone by their last names. Uh, Cynthia, see, what is that? Fanshare? Fanshaw, excuse me. I believe that was her original last name before she got a change to Ashlock for some reason. Uh, obviously, it's not your original uh, Hopkins last name for the marriage you guys had, the secret marriage, the secret wedding. Uh, my ex-wife, by the way, did legally take my last name, which you can do without a marriage license. You can go to the courthouse. You can get a new passport. You can get a new social security card. You can get a new driver's license. And with a judge, you can legally change your name. Anyone can. This woman has already changed her last name, and this is her current age, 44 years old. Donovan is claiming this woman is in her late 30s, 36, 37, something along those lines. People believe it. He talks about it all the time. All right, let's watch that one more time. Just so you guys let it really sink in. Let it let it sink in. Shoot, sink your teeth on it, bro. This is one of the reasons that I am currently in a cohabitating relationship with a woman almost a decade past the wall. 
Yeah, that's just not true, Donovan. She's almost 45 years old. You married Donovan Sharp is married to a woman who's almost 45 years old, a full year older than him. The exact opposite of what he claims. He has been lying about this very serious issue for a long time to deceive his audience, to deceive them, to sell products like woman ease and all this bullshit he sells, right? Because what does he say? What does he say, guys? What does he say on his channel? Let's have a look, right? Dude, listen, man, my results speak for themselves. Speak for themselves. It is what it is. They do speak for themselves, Donovan. Here's your results. You had a wedding with this woman. You are married to this woman. This is literally the best you could do. A woman who is now almost 45 years old and older than you. You have been lying about that. You have taken over half a decade off of her age to manipulate and control your audience and influence them to make sales. You've been lying to your audience for direct financial benefit. This is called fraud. It's called false advertising. It's called material deception. It is very serious. It is against the law. It is criminal in some states, in fact, not just civil. So you married this woman. She's 44, almost 45 years old, and she is older than you. And you have people in public believing that she is in her late 30s. You still claim she is in her late 30s. You've been publicly lying to hundreds and hundreds and thousands of fans that you have, millions of fans if you count, or just people you know exposed to your content. You've been lying to millions of people in the United States and around the world about the, the nature of that woman's physical age. You have done the exact thing that you bitch on your channel about women doing, lying about their age. You fucking lied about her age. You did it for, for direct financial fucking benefit to sell your fucking womanese bullshit and your Patreon and all this fucking shit. You lie about this woman, Donovan. You lie and you lie and you lie. Her name is Cynthia fucking Ashlock and she is 44 years old, almost 45 years old. This is fucked, man. This is super fucked. This is how incredibly low his respect is for his audience. He has zero respect for his audience. He disrespects them across hundreds and hundreds of videos, pretending that this woman, either directly and explicitly lying about her age or through omission referring to her about her age. In hundreds of videos, he's lying to these people over and over and over and over again. Lies, 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 lies. Hundreds of videos lying about her fucking age. He goes on other podcasts. He spread this bullshit all over the internet and people fucking believe it. This is what people criticizing him think. They actually believe this bullshit. And what is the truth? Cynthia Ashlock, born August 6, 1976, a full year older than Donovan. Cynthia Ashlock is 44, almost 45 fucking years old. You have a big problem, Donovan. You want to know why? Because what you're engaging in is false advertising. And we're going to look into this more in a minute. It is criminal in some states and against the law in almost every state and against federal law. You're engaging in what's called material deception. You're lying about very basic, physical, serious facts about someone, about someone directly involved in your business, your business manager and your wife that you're secretly lying about as well for direct financial gain. You are lying about her right on this woman, her age, right? Right here, Devon Sharp, you know, Cynthia Ashlock, is 44, almost 45 years old, and you fucking lie about her because what? Because your results speak for themselves, right? Dude, listen, man, my results speak for themselves. Speak for themselves. It is what it is. Yeah, they sure do. You are a used car salesman and a Ford bed salesman. Hopefully the beds weren't used. You are still, you give used car salesmen a bad name. You're explicitly lying about this woman in a very simple, basic way. You're fraud. You're engaging in false advertising and breaking the law. You even did that in Florida. Look at this. It. You know yes, what I'm yes. Listen, I have a confession to make. I have a yes. confession to make. Yes, I am secretly married to Devin. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Unbelievable. 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 Yeah, unbelievable, Donovan. You're lying about the nature of your relationship with her, including after being exposed. And you're lying about her in numerous other ways in the state of New Jersey where you live, other states you visited like Florida, like, for example, about her age. That's beyond fucked up. It's against the law. You've broken the law, Donovan. You piece of shit. You're a scumbag. You're a fraud, a fraudster, and just total trash, man. Human fucking garbage.